Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and if you're new thank you for joining me, I hope you consider subscribing. Um, so somebody requested I colour in the Totally Outrageous book by Joshua Dunbar, 80s New Wave colouring book. So um, we're going to colour in this one. Um, yeah I love anything to do with the 80s as you know. I am a child of the 80s and uh, so yeah. So I'm going to use a mixture of markers in this one um, including the uh, Deco Time Tri Blend. Ooh, looks like that one's coming out. Nib's coming out of that one. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to do a colouring chat and I'm going to give you a nice update as to what's going on with the channel. Um, as you know there hasn't been colouring chats for a long time properly at the odd one here and there. However that will be changing very soon. Jennifer has gone to school today. I'm off work because I've got to pick her up early because she finishes at 20 past 11 today. However, next week she'll be in school until 10 past at 3. Now, I finish work at 1ish or quarter to 1 depending on what day of the week it is. So that means I have got time when I finish work to do whatever I want to, whether it's tidying up, exercising, uh, reading, uh, doing my eBay store and filming. So yes, filming will be getting back to some sort of special track uh, on track next from next week. So I'm going to be trying to do two colouring chats a week um, and then obviously our normal end of the month uh, videos and flip throughs. Also first impressions, I've got three of those lined up where I've got supplies I need to, to use. So we will be doing those as well. Uh, so yeah, so next week will be a mixture of me filming and doing eBay, finally. I haven't done it for so long, it's been so difficult with Jennifer being off, um, she's been funny with bed, she doesn't want to go to bed at all, uh, she wants to stay with mummy all the time. She's getting better now and she is starting to go to bed earlier so maybe I'll get a bit of filming in in the evening as well if she goes to sleep even if it's just filming the flip throughs in the evening. Um, there won't be as many flip throughs soon once I've used the ones I've got already filmed, uh, just simply because I'm not, I'm not going on a no buy because that's, I, I don't believe in that because I just think that that encourages me to be miserable and want to buy and then go mad. But I will be cutting down my buy-in. The reason being is I have got so many books, I've got no more shelf space to put them on at the moment, so I need to start working through some and finishing some. <laughs> Literally my colour by numbers have nowhere to go. I've got a load of books I need to read because if I can get rid of them I can free up the best part of a shelf. So I've got a shelf that I keep my diaries on because I keep a diary every year. And what I do is it goes onto a shelf on my colouring book bookcase. Now, when I have got through some of the books on top of my Marilyn bookcases, I can put my diaries up there, which will fill me up, uh, free me up the best part of a shelf, which won't solve the issue because I've got so many books but it will certainly help it until I start completing some. This is a very dark flesh colour, isn't it? But she's going to be a bit pink because she's thinning. So that's the plan. However, there's a lot of books on top of it. I am slowly moving them. What I am going to try and do is clear away enough from the edge at some point so that I can put the diaries up out of the way and free up that space for me. For my books, my colouring books, I have a whole bookcase just for colouring books plus a shelf on one of my Marilyn bookcases, um, that's where I keep my fictional books and I've got to rearrange all that soon as well so now Jennifer's back and I can, this room is a bit of a mess that I'm filming in at the moment because there's colouring supplies everywhere, there's colouring books everywhere there's reading books everywhere, there's cameras everywhere that I need to get listed on eBay. That's going to be my first port of call is to get those cameras done and listed. Because the clothing is kept out of the way, it's 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 out of the way, it's not... Anything. Once I get the room cleared up I will be sorting out the bookcases. Um, 
the Marilyn one, so I've got a load of Marilyn books to go on. It needs a big reshuffle. Um, because obviously I'm still collecting Marilyn books. I'm constantly collecting Marilyn books. So I've got piles of colouring books. I haven't got anywhere to live. I have got technically three spare shelves on the Marilyn bookcase, but one of them is filled with colouring books and the other one's got all sorts of bits and pieces on it. So I really want to clear it up so I can get it nice and tidy. And that's going to be you know, part of what I do as I'm doing my eBay because at the moment it's very hard to get in there because of all the eBay stuff on the floor. Hence where I've got to get rid of the cameras. Once they're done, it'll be fine. So, yeah. Yeah, Jennifer's gone to school in her uniform. She's not very good at doing her trousers at the moment, so we're going to have to see how that goes today. And if she can't do them, she'll have to wear a dress tomorrow. She'll, but we'll practice it. She'll have to practice the trousers. So, yeah, bless her heart. Oh, she's so excited, though. She's looking forward to it. So I'm hoping she's enjoying herself because she'll be there now. She's got another hour and a half. So, oh, she's my baby. Amazing though to think that she's four and a half, nearly five. She'll be five in January and she is in school, in reception. Amazing. Oh, have a drink. Oops, oops, stuck. I've been watching videos this morning in between filming and uh, every time I pause a video it um, puts on photos because I'm watching it on my Amazon Fire Stick and I've got obviously Amazon Photos because I'm a Prime member every time I take a photograph of anything it uploads it to my Amazon photo account and starts showing me them. It's really cute. I love it. So at the moment, oh, there's Zed up a Christmas tree. I said last Christmas in the in the tree. So yeah, I like that. It's quite nice to have them on in the background. They just push through. So yes, I'm having to cut back because of the everything's going up. The cost of energy. But it's horrendous at the moment. All the prices going up in the shops, food, uh, diesel, petrol, gas, electric, clothing, everything is really, really, really expen getting expensive. Now we have a new Prime Minister who starts Daily's Trust who says she's going to do something about it. Her thing is she's saying she's going to freeze energy prices. I don't know how she's going to pay for it. Um, but something's got to be done because, I mean, we, we'll manage. We will manage. We've got plans in place on where we'll only use the heating first thing in the morning when we get up so it's warm when Jennifer gets ready for school. And last thing at night when we're getting ready for bed, Paul has a shower in the morning so it'll be warm then. I like to have a shower before bed so it'll be warm then. I also have to dry my hair with a hairdryer, especially in winter because of it being... It takes ages it's quite although it's fine it's it's quite thick as well it's not long though so it doesn't take forever but it's just you know annoying so we've got blankets we've got fleeces we've got jumpers we've got hot water bottles i've got a hot water bottle so i might see about ordering a spare one cost of food is going up so I've got to cut back I mean I do have the money from the ads if you don't mind sitting through the ads I'd appreciate it I I do and I don't it really depends on what I'm watching or what I'm doing if I'm doing something else I just let the ads play anyway because you know why not 
it's not hurting. If it's really long, I, sometimes you'll get an ad that's like five minutes long and I'm like, no, I'm not watching that and I'll skip it. If it's only a few seconds, it doesn't bother me. Anything to help my fellow YouTubers, especially the colorists, and there's a couple of others that do really good videos that I really want to support, such as uh, Adventures with Purpose. I tend to let their ads play, though I am a member with them. Anyway, I have a red stripe. Is that the neon red? Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm going to use my Pro Markers. And we're going to give her a red, a red stripe here, a sort of a bright pinky red. Looks more orange than red to me, but hey, that'll do. I'm happy with that because she's a bit of a punk. I do actually really love these Pro Marker Brights, these fluorescent, the luminous ones. Now I'm not going to put it across her eyebrow because we're going to give her a different colour eyebrow. I love the 80s. I wasn't a teenager until 87, but I remember the 80s quite well. So I have some lovely memories. Big hair. I mean, obviously I wasn't really into... My problem was I wasn't into the fashions of the time. I was still, even as a child, into the fashions of the... Um, 50s, 60s, the glamorous stuff. I really was into the glamorous stuff. So, I was, I was into the glamour very much so. So, I'm going to do down here. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying doing this. I've missed having a chat with you. Zed is going to the vets today just for a quick checkup and to be wormed and fleed. So you've got to weigh her to make sure she's the right weight for the medication. Um, that's this evening. Jennifer usually goes to dance, but it depends on how she's feeling after school. She's feeling a bit tired because it's going to be a, a lot of new stuff for her to take in. It's the same school she went to nursery at, so it's not that different. The teacher she had as nursery will be there because they're mixing uh, reception and nursery. So it's not going to be too bad. She will know some people there, her friend Alex is in her same class that she goes to dance and football with on you know Wednesdays and Sundays so she's gonna be okay it's not like she's gonna not know anybody at all um, but she's not sure on, on her trousers so if she can't do her trousers today at school she'll be wearing a dress the rest of the week and we'll have to practice the trousers on the weekend so she can wear them Anything I think about this paper feels really thin compared to some of the other Amazon paper on this book. I don't know why. I don't know. So I've started trying to exercise a bit more. I've got one of those weighted smart hula hoops with a weight that you spin around. You don't spin the hoop, you put the hoop, the, the belt on, it's almost like a belt, and then you spin the weight around. It is so hard, but I'm, I'm doing my best. I'll get there, I practice, I know that. When she gets back, when we get back from mum and dad's later, I shall have a, have a go for 10, 15 minutes just to see. Apparently it's very good exercise, very good at um, helping the core muscles and stuff like that, so. I don't eat a lot of chocolate anymore, I used to eat a ton of chocolate. I don't eat chocolate very much. It's not that I've, got, I've gone off it, I just don't eat it. I think again it's trying to save money. Um, as well. God, I feel tired now. I could have gone back to bed, but I thought no, I'm going to do all these videos. I've got so many videos to do. And I wanted to do a colour and chat with you today. Because it's been so long. Oh. Um. So yeah, it's 
nice to have a quick chat with you and colour. So yeah, so next week we will be doing some more colouring chats and I'll start filming some of my first impressions because I really want to use the stuff that I've bought that I've not used, that stuff that's for first impressions. I really want to use it, but I don't want to use it till I've filmed it. So I really want to crack on with it because, um, yeah, I really, really, I really want to. Uh, just use them. So I've got stuff you saw in my haul, which is the acrylic markers. I want to swatch those. And the Macaron Brut Funa pastel pencils. I want to swatch those. Mind you saying I haven't used the pastel low ones yet. I keep meaning to pull them out, but I can't get to them. Again, that's something I'm going to be sorting out as I go. Because... Uh, yeah. There we go. I'll just do her strap that colour as well. And then I'm going to do a darker blue for the rest of her outfit. Rather than a neon. There we are. So, yeah. I think we might give her these neon pink lips. Yeah, that red is more orange. What colour are the oranges? I absolutely love these colours. They're so flipping bright. There we are. Put those back in. I've got to put them in the box. I've got a box for these. What I do need to do is I've got a TV um, on my desk because my desk has two um, layers. So you've got the main bit and some cubby holes and then at the top you've got another layer, another shelf. And I need to get the TV put on the wall really uh, once I get this room sorted so that I can put my markers up on the top of the thing instead. Which would be better. Um, easier for me if they were up there you see I like this book actually. Totally outrageous. 80s new wave. I have got some books on pre-order so again that's why I'm saying I'm not on a complete buying ban. I've got one coming this month which is Mythagoria. I think it's Fabiana Antanasio. Um, so yeah so I mean that is uh, going to be coming. And then, what else? Uh, got um, that coming this month, at the, uh, sometime this month. And obviously I've got some uh, other reading books on pre-order as well. And I've got other colouring books that aren't coming out till next year on pre-order. Um, but yeah, I mean... I'm in two minds as to whether or not to spend my payout when I get it from Google, which I think is going to be about it's be about sixty quid. I think hopefully we'll get it at the end of September. Um, it might not, it might be November, or October rather. Um, on books, or whether I should save it towards markers. And at the moment, I'm overflowing markers, but I also know that they're not going to last forever. 
so I don't know yet we'll have to wait and see I'm tempted to get books I'm not gonna lie hello is my TV gone off it's because it's um let me just that's it I'm just sorting it out so that it's ready to play when I finish doing this and get ready for oh, the next video I mean, not that I mind I love making the videos I don't really want to be making them all in one go like today but I'm doing as much as I can today so that it's I've got stuff to put up because I want you know some stuff to put up on my channel I've got, I've got my reading um wrap up to do i've got um my book haul to do so there's a lot for me to do so yeah i need a a lot a lot to do and I'm not I'm not moaning because I do love doing it I just I don't want to be doing it all in one go all the time I would like to take time and do it in bits so we have like I'll do one one day and one another day so next week on uh, uh, Monday I might finish film a colour and chat and then I might go and do a bit of eBay I shouldn't I say shouldn't have anything to flip through. I say I shouldn't but I'm not going to guarantee it because I just don't know um, uh, I'm not sure when the next Relax With Art is out I thought it was out already and if that's out and I'm because I've got to go to Tesco on Sunday and they've got it I'm, I am going to pick it up because I do like them they get better in my opinion and therefore I do want to to pick them up if I can just a bit of a punk rock with this one isn't she <laughs> with all the different colours in her hair Yeah, I'm um... yeah, it'd be nice to get back to filming some sort of filming schedule. So like Monday I'll probably do uh colour and chat and then potentially Wednesday as well. And then I can put The rest of it, you know, I think like Tuesday I'll do eBay, Thursday I'll do eBay, Friday hmm, I'll do a bit of first impressions or something like that. I'll work out some sort of filming and eBay schedule just so that I'm ahead. So the idea with eBay is that I do enough in one day that I don't have to I do it every day. And I usually put up five listings a day when I do it. So I want to try and get uh, 10 or 15 done. Um, I want to get ahead so that I, you know, so I can still put things live on a weekend without having to actually work on the weekend, just go and put them live. But that's not happen for me to sort out as uh, as I get back into it, so it's going to take a while for that. So as long as I'm putting some listings live, I'll be happy. Um, this is the money that I was, I've got to sort out my accounts, I haven't done them for a while. I'm going to be using, it, it, we don't touch it, it just sits there and it's for our retirement or for, you know, um, stuff like that. So, right, that's that done. Now I know I haven't got one in there. So where's the bold me pens? Um, oh, there they are. No, my black from my, oh, who, who's downstairs? So I was using something. 
So yeah. Just do a cable. Oh, I've moved this way out. Still not there. Must have locked it. Sorry. I hope it wasn't like that for too long. I'm hopeless sometimes. I tell you. So yeah, what have I been up to other than I've been watching Adventures with Purpose. I'm a member of them. Costs four pound ninety nine a month. Because I do agree with what they do. They do such a good job with um, searching for missing people and finding them um, and bringing closure to families. What else have we been watching? Um, mostly colouring videos. I do like watching people do reading vlogs when they sit there and they just read and they update it on what they how they're getting on and what's happening in their lives and stuff. I quite like those. Um, fascinating Horror. That's a, a, a channel that specialises in disasters through history. So, such as King's Cross Fire and such stuff like that. I, I find that fascinating. It is history and I love stuff like that. And one at large who tells you the story of various people as he goes around the, the, the cemeteries and stuff um yeah uh, he's really good like him uh, excuse me a minute i'll just get in here that way. now i do need to get into the books where i put all my color by numbers oh so many coloring books and not enough space terrible absolutely terrible it really is, it's terrible. <laughs> there we go. Not much left on this one now. Ah, da 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 We will go with this one. Uh, I just think it's such a, a lovely book, this, and I am enjoying it very much. Okay, um, hmm, what colour? I'll use this one. I have no idea, I'm just grabbing random colours. I never plan colours, I just grab random ones. Because that's how I rock and roll. That's how I like to do it. I just like to go with the flow and see what happens. And usually it's pretty good. I'm just gonna leave her teeth white. <laughs> oh, it's so peaceful in here. It really is. It's nice and peaceful. I don't know. I'm just randomly colouring things in now. <laughs> oh, I do apologise. I just get like this sometimes. Just like, oh, I'm just going to put this colour here and that colour there, and all oh, this one will do that. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind that. <laughs> I'm a bit like that. Okay. I'm just going to have a quick drink. I am thirsty. I've only got the background to do now, so. I'll just do it for a little bit because the camera's going to stop in a minute so I hope you have enjoyed this colouring chat uh, please leave me a comment down below if you have and I will see you